Hello friends, this year, God is calling for more G-stars. Remember, God wants to talk to you. And you always say that, oh, others are shouting, others are talking. No, your voice matters. He's waiting for your voice. He's waiting to hear your call. He loves to talk to you. Remember, Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 3 says, Call unto me, and I will answer. I show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Remember, his phones will never go to the voicemail. His phone is ever ready to answer your call. Why don't you call him? What's that thing that is bothering you? Call unto him. I remember one time in my life, I needed to make a decision. And I told someone, I said, I don't know what to do. And she said, can we pray? And we just prayed. And God gave me an idea of what to do. I remember another time, I was going through another stuff. And I heard a pastor said, when you get home, go and pray. Kneel down by your bed and talk to God. And I spoke to God. And I said, this is it. This is how I'm feeling. And God sorted it out. Sometimes you are scared of what to say to God. No, don't be scared. Talk to him. He's your father. He's listening. We, the song says, I commune as friends to friends. He wants to just with us. He's waiting to hear your voice. Imagine blind Bartimaeus had not screamed the more. He would have remained a blind man. But he called unto Jesus. And God, Jesus showed him great and mighty things which he did not know. He didn't know that he can see again. But he saw. What about the people at the wedding? They turned aside and saw Mary and said, wow, Mary is here, okay. I wonder how those people knew that Jesus returned water to wine. I don't know. Because the Bible recorded it as his first miracle. Maybe they have been watching Mary. Maybe Mary has been giving some testimonies. I don't know. But they went to the right person. And he changed water to wine for them. Without getting up. What's that thing in your life? God is ready to help you. He said, call on to me and I will answer. And show you great and wonderful things that you do not know. Moses did not know that he had a rod, that the rod can part the Red Sea until he called unto God. Anna did not know that she can give birth to Samuel until she called unto God. What about you? What about you? When are you going to start talking to God? Just him with him. Communing as friends to friends. He is not interested in vocabulary. Just talk the way you are. So for me, anytime I want to talk to God, is in my dialect, so that I, I will understand myself better. And that was how I was talking when I met my husband. Ah, uh, you want to hear that? Just wait for another day. But you, what am I saying today? Is you need to call on to God. Have you been betrayed? Talk to Jesus. You don't understand that thing. Talk to Him. That business is not going the way you want. Why not talk to him? He's waiting for your voice. This is not that year that you be, should be giving your phone number, you and God's phone number to somebody to help you call. This is that year that you should talk to him yourself. This is that year he wants Zacchaeus, your Zacchaeus to come down from the tree so that he can commune with him. Call on to him. No matter what you've done wrong, he's waiting. I read in my Bible, he has loved me. It's everlasting love. Don't let people tell you that God is not going to listen to you. He listens. We are his children. And anytime you go astray and you call for help and you say, Dad, I'm sorry. He's ever ready. His arms are ever open to welcome you. And that's why you need to know God for yourself this year. Call on to him. He's ready to answer you. Stop crying. Talk to God. Don't say, can't God see? Yes, he just wants you to talk. Remember when you go to the hospital, the doctor does not force words into your mouth. They ask you questions and you answer. Why don't you answer God? 
Why don't you tell him things that you're going through? Then he will give you solutions. His solution comes in diverse ways. That one I will let you know. It comes from his word. It could even be from a child. I remember one time we were going through something and my little daughter sat behind the car and she was singing. And she was singing. And I believe she was, I remember that song. She was saying that Jesus will never fail. Jesus will never fail. Jesus will never fail. And my husband and I, we looked at ourselves. That was the answer we were looking for. The little girl was just singing. It could even come through dreams. It could come from a confirmation from your pastor. Or I don't know, anywhere. It could even be a sticker behind the car. But you need to know how to talk to God. And also put away distraction. This year, there are so many distractions everywhere. Some inner ones, thoughts, belief systems, strongholds that has held you bound. You need to put it away by talking to God and say, no, this thing must not have a hold on me. Outside distractions, you want to read your Bible, that's when your phone is ringing. You want to pray, that's when a friend is calling you. They say you should fast. That's when they are doing party and you want to go and attend. <laughs> Member saw. He saw. You don't need to be there this time. Because this is that time. You need to sort out destiny. 2023. How is it going to go? Ask him. He will answer you. And he will show you. He will give you instructions. And whatever he asks you to do do it sometimes it could be difficult i've been there and i'm still there mm. but once you can obey him he will help you i pray that this year you will have a voice behind you see this is the way work there in it in the name of jesus bible says my sheep hears my voice this year you will hear his voice I will hear his voice in the name of Jesus. This year we will not make a mistake. This year we will not fall into errors in the name of Jesus. And whatever he asks us to do, God himself will give us grace to do it in the name of Jesus. We will know what to do by time for Jesus himself knows what to do. He will be our mentor and he will be our guide. Father, we thank you because this is that year that you will show us great and mighty things which we do not know. Lord, we thank you because you are God in Jesus' name. Amen. God will show you what to do. He will tell you what to do. God bless you. Until next time. Remain unstoppable. Bye for now.